Hey everybody, it's Dave here from Dragon Hill Games and I am back at you with another Kaldheim box opening video. This one is a sponsored video, so thanks so much to Chris K. And today we're gonna to be having a look inside Kaldheim. Set booster. All right, let's get right to this. I'll be honest with you, I have not looked at the list for this set. I'm gonna be straight up with that. So I have no idea what's in the list and I am going to be as surprised as you guys are about the contents of these booster packs. I did watch some box opening videos, so I know a little bit, I've seen a little bit about, um, you know, a couple of list cards and stuff, but nothing too major. So really excited to kind of get into these and see what we have inside. This has been a really, really awesome set so far. I do have to say, and I've been saying that in all of the videos, that I'm pretty impressed with what we have going on in this set. So here we have an art card. You get one art card in every single pack. I believe you also get a foil and there's a chance to get between one and four rare slash mythic. So there we have a world tree art card. First couple of packs will kind of just go through everything. But after that, we're just going to skip on ahead to the good stuff. I'm sure by now you guys have seen a ton of box opening videos. So yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking of this set. Our first rare is Skemfar at Avenger. So we will put that over there. And then our foil was Feed the Serpent. So we got Feed the Serpent foil and we got a token slash info card. Yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking of this set. Um, I really like the art. I know I've been saying that in all the videos. I love the theme of the set. In this one, we got this particular art card. Of course, uh, snow is a huge theme in this set, so we're getting basically either a snow basic in the regular booster packs, of course, we get a snow basic or one of these new tapped snow duels, fetchable snow duels, I might add. So really good addition to this set. Rare from this one was Faceless Haven. All right. And then we have a showcase Finn at the Fang Bear. So maybe we'll put the showcases there. How about that? Our foil for this particular pack was a Valor of the Worthy, and we got another token slash info card. Yeah, again, too, um, you know, did you guys get out to a pre-release? Oh, that is a really sharp looking art card. Wow, I'm impressed. Like I said, I'm really impressed overall with the art in this set. Did you get out to a pre-release? Can you have pre-releases in your area? Did you buy a pre-release kit for, what are they calling it, an at-home pre-release? Is that the route that you had to go? Unfortunately, that's kind of the way we had to go up here in Canada. Okay, so we got a Cosmina, God of the Voyage, Showcase, and then of course most of these gods, at least for sure the rare ones, have something on the other side. They're modal dual flip, so in this case it has the Omen Keel on the other side. We'll put that... Uh, maybe we'll keep all the showcases together. We also have a Cert Land Elementalist as a regular rare and a Foil Arachniform. And from the list, our first list hit, we got an Ethereum Horn, Horn Sorcerer. So that's interesting. Good old Plane Chase card. All right. Yeah, like I was saying, up here in Canada, we kind of had to have, um, you know, the at-home sort of pre-release thing. Can't do any events in store, unfortunately. So maybe if that's what you guys uh, had to go through as well, then let me know in the comments below. Okay. Mammoth growth. All right. Here we get into the uncommons. Then we have a Sigrid God Fair Favored. So that was the rare for this pack and a Fearja Judge of Valor Showcase. And our foil was a Haggy Mob. Okay. Put that. Make sure my piles are correct here. Unfortunately, there's not a great way to open these packs without really seeing kind of what's on the bottom. I guess I could kind of do this. There we go. All right, art card for this pack. There we go. Pretty nice. Don't think we've had a multiple rare pack yet. I know you can get up to four rares in one pack. So here we have a Reckless Crew as a rare. Oh, and here we go. So there, this guy's really sweet. Orvar the All Form. He's actually the cause of a lot of cards moving in the Magic the Gathering marketplace. 
right now. Okay, so he is not one of the modal dual flips. Then we have a Bergstrider and a Foil Drogar Thought Thief, followed by another info card. Yeah, there's a few cards have been moving the market, so definitely that Orbar has a lot of cards uh, you know, related to him, especially some older sort of reserve list stuff. That I believe is the Cos Cosmos, or the, the one serpent guy. I'm not sure exactly his name. I think it's Co Cosmos, something along that lines. Um, yeah, Terra Grid is uh, really cool. I think one of the chase rares out of this set, that's also a lot of cards are on the move because of Terra Grid. We have a Battle for Bretigard is a rare, Frostbite, and then we have a Foil, Carter's a Vicious Return, followed by another Info card. Yeah, Terra Grid's been moving some cards, a lot of uh, Squirrel stuff moving because of um, Toski. I believe the name is Toski, the first sort of Squirrel Commander. Here we have an art card, and there we go. All right, amazing. So nothing too impressive. I think we've only had the one list card. It's supposed to be about one in four packs. You get a list card, so we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky with this one. Rally the Ranks was uh, rare for this one. Moriad of the Frost. A Foil Sculptor of Winter. Okay, and another info card. There we go. Art card for this particular pack. Really amazing. All right, so we're just gonna get things moving along a little bit here. Boreal Outrider. All right, a Burning Rune Demon. So this is the first one I've seen of this. I've opened quite a few boxes and that's the first Burning Rune Demon I have gotten for someone. Blizzard Brawl, we have a Foil Death Knell Berserker, and a Light of the Stage from the list. So it looks like the list is all over the board. That's a pretty recent card, I believe. Guilds of Ravnica, either Ravnica, Allegiance, or Guilds of Ravnica, one of those two. So not too far off there. We're not going too far back with the list, it appears. Okay. Looks like Kaya there, some sort of Kaya art. Here we go, another Blizzard Brawl. A Pyre of Hopes. So this is the, um, yeah, this is the card where you can sacrifice a creature and then search your library for a creature card that shares a creature type with it and has a converted mana cost equal to one plus that creature's converted mana cost. You put that card directly onto the battlefield and then shuffle your library. Pretty sweet, rare there. And then we also got a Dark Boar Pathway, a Pilfering Hawk, and our foil was a run ashore, followed by another info card. All right, last pack, first stack here. There we go. Art card for this one. Pretty sweet looking Kraken. Mm -hmm. Spined Pillar. Another Morietta of the Frost. A lot of repetition in these packs, unfortunately. Since they're kind of themed and there's only certain cards that can end up in each type of slot, ends up being quite a bit of repetition. We have a, a rare Calamity Bearer, a Tundra Firmer all, so that's nice. We got a double rare pack there. Another Fearja, got, or Fearja Judge of Valor, and a King Herald's Revenge is the foil, followed by another info card. So thanks again to Chris for sponsoring this box. Chris also sponsored a Draft Booster Box video for us, so if that's something that interests you, I'll put that up here in the top right corner. You can go ahead and check that out. He actually, his draft booster box was pretty solid. Okay, oh, there's a nice one. So there's Yargoth Bloodsky Sire, a legendary demon rogue. Nice rare showcase type frame there. Really like the look of that. Okay. And then we have an avalanche color, a foil Eskis chariot, so nice foil rare there. Another info card. And I messed up my piles as usual. This is kind of an ongoing theme for me. So let's get everything back to the way it should be. And we'll put this one right there. Okay. Yeah, we did a few pre-release kits openings. Actually, I was really impressed with the pre-release kits this time around. And our bundle, there's a Born and Clex art card. So that's really nice. Our bundle was absolutely astronomical. I've never opened a bundle of that quality. And I really do have to say 
that as far as the bundles go, Wizards did a fantastic job this time around. The dice that's in there is really cool. Again, we did a video on that, so check that out there if that's something that interests you. We have a Rare Dream Devourer, followed by a Shimmer Veil and a Foil, Brine Barrow Intruder, and another Info Card. Okay. Get things moving along here. Oh, a nice signed art card there. There we go. Check that out, that's pretty sweet. A Cyclone Summoner, it's a nice rare there. And then we got a Showcase Maja. And our foil was an Ice Hide Troll, another info card. Seems to be light on the list. We've only gotten two list cards so far out of more than a stack and we're supposed to be an average of one out of every four packs. So maybe we'll hit a few in a row. I suppose that remains to be seen. There we go, Tabalt art card. Clarion Spirit. A Cosmos Elixir, so good rare there. Ice Hide Troll. And then we got a Foil, a Drogar Recruiter, followed by a Goblin Lore. So there's another hit from the list. Pretty awesome. I believe that was uh, Portal. Or Port, yes, I believe that was Portal. Uh, all right, so nice cool little list card there, Goblin Lore. Okay, sweet looking art card. That's weird, we had a foil right on top. It's the first time I've seen that happen. So foil sulfurous mire right on top there. I suppose, um, I think it's a land in the very first slot. So maybe there's a chance to have a foil of whatever particular land, and that's probably what happened there. We have a rare Ascendant Spirit, and then a foil gold vein pick. Okay. So we'll see if we get, if that happens again. I'm kind of curious now. First off, let's see if rare or a land is in the very first slot. Again, I didn't watch too many videos on this, so yes, land is definitely in the first slot. There is the art card for that particular pack. So there must be a chance that you can get a foil land in that slot as well. Okay. All right. Blood Sky Masker, so nice rare there. Then we have a Coal the Forge Master and a foil Jaspera Sentinel, followed by another info card. Plenty of those to go around, that's for sure. Well, that's a pretty sweet looking art card. Man, I really do love the art on this set. Holy smokes, that is pretty awesome. Okay, then we have an Elvish War Master. This guy's pretty solid. I really do like him. Bergstrider, a foilless, Foil Fearless Liberator. Oh, and then a Beseech the Queen. Congratulations, that's a great hit from the list. This is a really expensive card and they are hard to come by. So that's really nice that we got a Beseech the Queen from the list there. Congratulations, Chris, on that one. Looks like our art card is, I believe that is, what is his name, Nico? Or its name, Nico? I believe so. And then yes, so we definitely can get a foil Snowland in that first slot. So that's what happened again there. So that's interesting. We're all learning stuff together here, or at least I am. Okay, and that, there's Nico. So we got Nico and, and its art card in the same pack. Pretty interesting. Okay, and that's a borderless Nico. So really nice. Congratulations, Chris. That's a really good hit. So that may be right up there. Okay, we got a foil. Raise the Drogar. Okay, a couple more packs to go for this second stack here. Trying to open this upside down is a little bit of a challenge, but that way we're not revealing whether or not we got a token or a set card. So trying to accommodate everybody here. All right, there we go. Oh, and a foil Nico art card, or uh, sorry, a signed Nico art card. So that's pretty cool. Really nice looking there. A lot of Nico in these packs. Okay, here we go. Renegade Reaper, then we have an Arnie a Broken Bow, which is a rare showcase, so that's pretty nice. Another rare in a Certland Flinger. 
a foil Miss of Lit Jara, and an info card. Last pack, second stack. This is definitely a challenge opening these upside down, I'm not gonna lie. But we wanna keep the mystery alive, right? So that is what it is. Here we go with our art series card, okay. Hailstrom Valkyrie, Icebreaker Kraken. Still not sure about this guy. I have to play with him maybe a little bit to see if he's actually good. I mean, the earliest we could get him out if we had six snow lands would be turn six. But s turn six for an 8-8 eight eight feels kind of bad to me. I don't know how you guys feel about that card, but Guardian, Delayed Walker Foil, and another info card. All right, let's straighten things up a little bit here. So still a little light, I feel, on the list, but it was really nice for sure to get that Beseech the Queen. That was a good solid card. Okay, here we go with our art card. Oh, that is fantastic looking. I really hope that comes through in the camera. Man, that is a cool looking card. Okay. Let's draw our mirror lake. Then we have a Raven's Warning is our foil. A lot of sagas. Sagas are back in a big way. A lot of sagas. Reflections of Litjara, a Sculptor of Winter, and then a foil Cinderheart Giant, followed by another info card. Okay. Here we go. Amazing. There's Terragrid, God of Fright. So I really do love this card. In fact, I'm going to be for sure building a commander deck around Terragrid. She has on the other side, Terragrid's Lantern. So like most of the gods, most modal do a flip with an artifact on the backside. Then we have a foil undersea invader and we got Ancestor's Prophet from the list. So what is this thing? Five mana for a one five, tap five untapped, clear shoe control, you gain 10 life. Interesting. Could definitely be an include in a commander cleric themed deck. All right, here we go with our art card. And then we got a foil Highland Frost right on top. There's a Drogar Necromancer, so rare for this pack, and followed by a King Neferi's Betrayal. King Nerfi's Betrayal, there we go. An Agar, the Freezing Flame Showcase, and a Foil Dread Raider, followed by another hit from the list in Ruination Guide. An Uncommon from Battle for Zendikar. Hmm, okay. Feels kind of bad when they put real jank in the, the list slots. I don't know. All right. I would rather see personally, you know, one or two list hits per box and have them be actually decent cards. I think that would be sort of a better route for them to go. What do you guys think of that? Why don't you let me know in the comments section below. Okay, so here we have a Battle Mammoth. I really like this card. That's a nice mythic hit. It's a five mana, six five trampler elephant, and whenever a permanent you control becomes the target of a spell or ability and opponent controls, you may draw a card. Of course, it has foretell for two green and two. So really sweet mythic hit there, a shimmering veil, and a foil usher of the fallen. Okay, another info card. Here we go, a couple more packs to go. I really do wanna thank you, Chris, for sponsoring this video. Like I mentioned, Chris really stepped up to the plate this time. We had him sponsor a draft booster box video as well. There's another, a lot of Nico art cards. There we go, there's another one. Okay. Weathered Runestone, what do you guys think of this? Two mana for non-land permanent cards in graveyards and libraries can't enter the battlefield. Players can't cast spells from graveyards or libraries. Interesting, almost like a graft digger's cage type of effect there. Then we have a Showcase Frame a Magda Brazen Outlaw. So that's a really nice looking one there. Look at the, like the look of that. Okay, and we also had a Rare Canopy Tactician, a Foil Tuskiri Firewalker, and another info card. Here 
Here we go. Inga Rune Eyes, Tyrite Sanctum, that's a rare. And then we have a Mythic Showcase Frame, a Torolf God of Fury. So that's really nice looking. Congratulations, Chris, on that one. And we have Torolf's Hammer on the other side. Really nice card, that's a really good hit. Congratulations again, Chris. Foil, not foil, not fold, recruits, and an info card. Couple more packs to go here. All right. Okay, is Onslaught, Old World Troll. I really actually like this guy too. I think he's definitely gonna make some appearances. And then we have a Bark Channel Pathway Borderless, which of course on the other side is the Tide Channel Pathway. So nice to get another Borderless card in there, a couple so far. And we got a Foil Reflections of Lit Jara, followed by another Info card. Okay, three more packs. Yeah, I actually think the fair, fair bit of Mythics so far in this box. This turned out to be a half-decent box, I do believe so. There we go. So a Seraph Realm Eater, rare. And we got a Foil Strategic Planning, and we got another list card, another card from the Return to Ravnica block. It is a Terramander. So that's at least a half decent one. Terramander was really popular, definitely at the time when it was in standard. And I know it makes its way into various modern and pioneer decks as well. We got another art card there. Foil Ice Tunnel. Okay, a Tabalt's Trickery was the first rare out of this pack, followed by an Inga Rune Eyes Showcase, and a Foil Rare Ascendant Spirit. So that's really nice to hit for sure. Okay, and last pack, good luck Chris. I think this was a pretty good box overall. And again, thank you for sponsoring this video. All right, maybe we'll slow roll this one just a little bit. Feed the Serpent, Death Knell Berserker, Coma's Faithful, Fearless Liberator, Dwarven Hammer, a Forging of the Tyrite Sword, then we have a Gilded Assault Cart, a Radeen God of the Worthy, rare, a Moriate of the Frost, then we have a Foil Blood Sky Berserker, and last but not least, an Info Card. All right, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, thanks, Chris, for sponsoring. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps me out, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.